wonder if it's gonna work this time, because last time the windowing was a bit off, and it, 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 it messed up the, Ooh. messed up the whole recording, I'm digging this music though. <laughs> Somewhere in the US. Oh. Where am I, how do I, where am I, ah, yes, the wazzed. Alright, let me get in my, let me get in my car. I gotta turn this down. Ow, 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 hold up. Oh, okay. I'm in my car, I'm <laughs> driving away, oh. I don't think that's how cars work. Um, ah, oh, yeah, I'm going to move. <laughs> Just driving along, got my dog in the back barking. This music ain't that bad. Those are some really... Big they are literally the width of my car. Or as long as my car. So a security ca deactivate the camera. Do I throw something at it? No. <laughs> it's an RPG. Oh, I'm gonna smash. Oh, nice. Okay, I only have 35 health. On guard. Okay, uh, bullet? Okay, he blocked all of my bullets. That's fantastic. All right, um, let's try smashing again. That seemed to work. All right, okay, he's about halfway done. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I should be able to finish him off though, right? Okay, yeah, 20, I can do this easily. Oh, uh, he's got one more smash. Uh, I'm gonna screw him next time. Eh. Did it work? Did, uh, did... Hello? Did it work? Um... Uh... I don't even get to finish the cutscene! Ugh, really? Really? Okay, well I guess I'm just gonna go into a new game. Welcome to your new job. <laughs> Today is your first day. Great. Now let me introduce Hello, myself. Hello, text to speech I'm compilation. And you have to do everything I tell you. Oh, it's reach a bit a demanding. Great, new tension, and mostly to prepare the cinema for the reopening. Right. Now you're in the elevator, and you need to stay here every night for reach your workspace. In, in the See elevator. Later. Wait. So I'm just stuck in the elevator? Alright. This is going to be a, a bit weird for me to do, because I've technically already played a little bit of this game before. Like, as, as I was trying to say earlier... The windowing for the for the game messed up the uh, recording, so that was fun. And now I'm playing through it all again. It definitely does have some problems, and you'll see later on some of those problems. <laughs> but luckily, I've done some things before, so I don't have to spend the 15 minutes it took for me to figure out... ...things, and I can just do it properly. Again, the, the wet concrete doors beautiful I love them also the way <laughs> the transition between pitch black and the actual hallway spotless I think we better fix the elevator it feels like it's gonna crash anytime I, I just realized I never adjust the game this is affiliated location and it's about it's it's like sister location just finished Open the doors by pressing the red it's like sister location, but if it was a theater, really. And it's got some different characters as well, so that's interesting. Now, you are in the electrical control room. This place is very important for. It's a very funny line here that the guy says, the and I'm just waiting for him to say it. Electrical channels, and here there is an hidden speaker that is linked to basic information channels. You can tell These someone just put this into a text-to-speech thing. Is something that is not working in them. But now, let's focus on what do you have to do. Come on, say you the line. These little control panels. It's highly. Well, these are the electrical control panels. Each panel is for one. When he says panel. highly, it just doesn't Back sound like it. Right. That's the biped mangles one. Biped mangle. Alright. Hey Mangle, you here? No. Alright, that's cool. I wouldn't want Looks to show like up. Looks like biped Foxy is sleeping. God, Try so... to press the orange button to activate her. I turned my volume down, but I can tell that there was a huge jump in volume for that line. 
You there? Hey, look at her. Great. Seems like she woke up. But there is a problem. Yeah. Bipad Foxy seems to block her show movement. Oh no. Luckily for you, that is easy fixable. <laughs> Just deactivate her with the blue button, then reactivate her with the orange button. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. This is easy fixable. Great job. Yay. Now everything is working in Biped Foxy. Look at them. We will operate on her again. But the later. English for this now phone call is to the next Just room using the wow. smooth. The awesome. So seamless. Oh, I just forgot to say a thing. Yeah. There is another animatronic bug for today. It's animatronic. We sent it back because a new model of it was just released, and we would like to have it for technical reasons. Yeah. Not sure why you would want to keep it, but whatever. You know, you do you. Here you are. You just reached the cinematic control room. Look at this. Here you can start, stop, and change the various films. So there's one over here it's and then one over here. Operation. Look at the window on your left. Here. That is the Foxy's film room. Foxy should there be capitalized. There are three films reloaded in the projection machine. Just press the big green button for activate that machine. Try to do it again. Huh. <sighs> Come on. No. It seems that the machines are out of power. Oh, bro. You need to fix that, but it's ah. a danger thing. Ah. I recommend to proceed by going in the motor room. Forget there you need to return in the vent and then go in the right side of the vent when you can. The right side. You will walk draw the other animatronic room <laughs> that for today is empty. See you in the motor room. <laughs> you will walk draw. Oh no, I told you the English is hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we go down this vent and then we turn right. Nothing happens if you go left. I tried it earlier, but, you know, the first attempt at recording before the window messed it up. I also do have it set on to show the temperature is Fahrenheit, but, you know, ooh. He said no one was in here, so I should be able to just run straight past, right? I have the temperature on Fahrenheit, so all those people that are smart and use Celsius, I apologize. It's just so I can figure out what I'm doing. You reach the motor room. Yep. This room is useful for control the electrical voltage of the projection machines. Yep. For that, this area is Higley electronic <laughs> concentrated, and for this your temperature sensor is confused. It says Higley. It show the temperature. Unfortunately, <laughs> it will make the voltage higher, and the temperature of the room will increase. It's so much funnier the first time. <laughs> activated, and she is well, for you guys, this is the first time. You understand. If the temperature will get high, you will die. <laughs> the temperature depends from the voltage and you have Straight a voltage forward. indicator. You can increase the voltage by pressing the red button and yep. increase it with the blue button yep. when a red alarm starts to blink. I will tell you when the voltage is enough. Good luck. Okay, so the first time I did this, I didn't know what I was doing. But basically, all you have to do is um, click the red button. It goes up about 6 volts every click. Okay, and you keep pressing that until red lights start to flash. These aren't the lights, trust me. And then once they do start, or maybe these are the lights. Oh no, those are the lights. And then when that happens, you want to hit the blue one. And then to wait for that, I think it brings it down about a few. Uh, and then you just keep raising it. You, you keep doing that, it progressively gets um, higher and higher. And then last time I did it, I got up to about 40 voltage, and he said that was enough, so... Yeah, it, 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 um, the tutorial for this game is really confusing, um, this one and also the one on night two, so, not only have I done those before, the night two one I didn't get to complete, because that's when I realized that the recording was messed up, but it's apparently so complicated that the creator had to make a statement on Game Jolt on how to fix it, so, oh, actually, how to do night two. So we should be able to do that. Oh, go down. And go, oh, hold up. Wait for it to stop going down. 32, and go up. It takes a little bit, but you get there eventually. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what time we stop at. It was around, like, the 44s, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. Great. There we you go. The good amount of voltage. The good amount. Exit from this room and return into the control room. 
Not the right amount of voltage. The good amount. God. This game, it just cracks me up. And it's so annoying that I've seen all this before because it was so much funnier the first time. And that's why the commentary is a bit crap. Because I've already seen this before. Once we get to night two, though, that I haven't seen much of. So, yeah. That'll, that'll be nice when we get there. And the commentary will actually be fresh then. You won't have to deal with this <laughs> bad overlay right now. Okay. So we'll go over here, hide the tips. Now just press the green button on the left and select the film called Funtime. Again, Funtime should be capitalized. With the right panel, but this time select the film called Good Friends. Use the orange buttons for select. For select. All right. So that's we need Funtime as well. Um. Yeah. Good. And then over here we need Good Friends. There. Right there. And then we go back. All simple. Then we leave, and I think this is it for night one. Yeah. Then there's this. Shift finished. Turn off the walk mode. Press enter to continue. I don't know what it means by turn off walk mode. Um, and then it kicks it back to the title screen. <laughs> yeah. This stuff, I haven't seen much of. Once we get to Foxy's section, Welcome that's that's all the day. new stuff. Congrats for your last shift. Thank you. Today, there are some news. Remember of that new robot... Well, yeah. it just arrived today, and you will set it up. Ooh. You will also have some work to do with Biped Mangle. Biped Mangle. But now, let's focus on our elevator entertainment system. Yeah. It's a tool that you can use for... Exotic butters and all that good stuff. Getting bored. Do you see that black screen over the red button? Yes, you can use here. That thing. For activate or that thing. Some cool music. <laughs> Activated. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> the error is making the system work bad. Oh, it's it's just funny, really. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. It's just hilarious. I can't remember exactly, but isn't this the exact bongos that played in Sister Location? I wouldn't be surprised. Also, the. Again, not trying to be mean, but the models really remind me of Roblox FNAF models. <laughs> the animations are good. It's just the models kind of look Robloxy. Kind of just want to stay in here. Unfortunately, like the door animations, that was that was very nice. All right, what am I doing? Welcome again. The game is also kind of quiet, which is kind of annoying. Foxy should be capitalized. So many capitalization errors. What am I now doing? Hi! The <laughs> on your left to see if JJ is here. Ah, that's right. Uh, it's not loud anymore. Alright, JJ, I forgot. As expected, she is not here. It heard that I was annoyed that it was quiet. To give her some energy. We're not giving them a controlled shock. We're giving them just a little bit of energy. Yeah, there's that thing. Warning. Basic information channel message. JJ need to be initialized. <laughs> initialized. Oh. Updated operating system. Why do I have an? Selected. Why do I have an Activity outdated hours. operating system? That's not good. As you just heard, JJ has some problems. Don't worry. Why? <laughs> why would you buy a robot now, with problems? And keep calm because a <sighs> error can make everything bad. All right, can now I go please, through? Enter in the vent in front of you and follow my instructions. My question is, why would you buy a robot that has problems right off the bat? Like they bought it knowing that it had problems, knowing that the He's robot had problems. Right to access Biped Foxy's hall. Then from here you will access to the maintenance room. Okay. Yeah. Like. In the past, they've noted. Do I have to keep crawling? No, I don't. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. It seems that my head swore somehow escaped. <laughs> in now, you must avoid him because he probably wants to interrupt your shift. He doesn't want to kill me. Lucky for you, we gave you some useful tools. Thanks. Use the flash to have a rapid look of the entire room, or use the flashlight to have a detailed look of the point where you're pointing it. Now, listen carefully. 
If your flashlight lights up biped Foxy immediately start a flash to make him go away. If you don't do this in time, he will probably get to you. Nice! If you see him very near to you, immediately walk to your back to make him go away. Walk to my back? Okay, yeah, so this was the bit that was confusing for people. So, basically- Hey! You know, I thought I knew what I was doing, but apparently I don't. Apparently, all you have to do is shine your light, not the beacon, but the flashlight, around the room, swaling the room. Do I have to start back at the beginning of the night? Okay, no good. Oh shit. It seems that's like swore. Apparently, what you do is you look around the place with the light, and if you don't see him, you walk forward a bit. However, if you do see him, right, like there, you flash your light. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing this wrong. And then when you hear a metal noise, you walk backwards? So I'm gonna be quiet for this then. I walked backwards. Alright, yep, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> that was the perfect cut. Oh, zzz. Hi, oh my god. Why does it have to be so loud? Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> this is pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. No. We're good. Okay. Okay. Am I there yet? God. I thought Biped Foxy was not supposed to be active tonight. No, no, it's kind of hard to tell what is the metal noise with like, is that the metal noise or is that just ambiance? I've ran out of battery? Hi. So, I just gotta guess then. How long is this room? Ah, uh, there was no metal noise. I flashed the beacon. That should have been a successful bypass, but no. Like, is that the metal noise, or is that just ambiance? Hi. I did uh, what the what what? It doesn't make any sense if I do this. Oh my God! Is that like is that the metal? Come on! I feel like there's eight different samples for the metal sound effect. I don't know if that's metal.
It's almost like a train at an amusement park. I am done. Oh my god. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. What happens if I just stay here? <laughs> of course I die. One, two, three, four, five. I am done. I, I don't get I really don't get it. I really, really do not get it. And I am not gonna sit here for another, like, I don't even know how long it's been, but I just, I don't get it. Oh, shit. I have no idea how to beat Night 2. If you guys know how, please tell me, because this is a great game. I like it a lot. I just don't really understand some of the mechanics, so... That'd be nice if you guys know how to beat it. Just, uh, you know, comments down there. Wink, wink. That was a blink. Uh, wink, wink. Still a bit of a blink. I can't really wink that well. Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.